In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We offer this Mass for the repose of the soul of Virgin Colon. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries of God's love. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people? whom you brought out of the land of Egypt with such great power and with so strong a hand. Why should, you, why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down, relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, Wondrous, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. And I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You send emissaries to John, and they testify to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and a shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice, nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came, from, I came in the name of my Father, but you did not accept me. Yet, if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and you do not seek the praise that comes from only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me because he wrote about me. But he did, if you do not believe this, his writings, how will you believe my word? The Gospel of the Lord. We all know that in our judicial system, witnesses play a very important role. If somebody does something wrong to me, I will be very happy if there are people who have witnessed the incidents, because I know that when it comes to judicial system, those witnesses will stand up and say exactly what they saw happening. And the people who have done wrong things to others, they fear witnesses. They want to temper with witnesses because they do not want the truth to come out. In today's gospel, Jesus talks about witnesses. Five witnesses that can testify that he is the Messiah. Five witnesses that can convince the people to believe in him, to accept his message, and to change their lives. The first witness that Jesus talks about is God the Father. The Father who sent him to accomplish the work of salvation. The second witness that Jesus talks about is John the Baptist, his precursor who came ahead of him and who mentioned him to the people that this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The third witness that Jesus talks about is the miraculous works that he does. And he tells the people, even if you don't believe in me, try to be persuaded by the works that I am doing. And then the fourth witness is the Holy Scripture. And Jesus tells the people, read the Holy Scripture, because the Holy Scripture speaks about me. And the last witness that Jesus talks about is the great prophets, Moses. You believe in Moses, but Moses speaks about me, and you do not want to believe in me. 
apart from thinking about the witnesses that Jesus lays before us, we also need to ask ourselves, if we were to stand before God as the judge, who will be our witness? And that question can only be answered by each one of us. And the most important witness that we should have is the gift of charity. What are the charitable works that we do that can stand to be displayed in front of God to show God how we have been faithful to him? And during this time of Lent, we can add two more witnesses into our lives, and that is prayer and works of penance. These are the three things that the Lord asked us to do at the beginning of Lent, to pray, to do penance, and to do acts of charity. These are the three witnesses that we should present to God at the end of our Lenten campaign, and they should testify to the Lord that we have been faithful sons and daughters in our journey of faith. Let us pray in this Mass that we may continue in this Lenten campaign, in this Lenten season, by dedicating our lives to prayer, to penance, and to acts of charity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. The mystery of this water and wine, may we come share in Christ's divinity, and born self to share in our Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord, and may our, spirit, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we offer in sacrifice may cleanse us in our frailty from every evil and always grant us your protection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor and help us to imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not being judgment, condemnation, but through loving mercy before me, protest my body and healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this sacrament we have received purify us, O Lord, we pray, and grant your servant freedom from all blame, that those bound by a guilt of conscience may glory in the fullness of heavenly remedy. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in the peace of Christ.